everybody! Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Disney California Adventure and we're in Avengers Campus. The doors to the Avengers HQ have finally opened and it turns out there's no ride inside. It's a store with replicas of the Infinity Stone props. We're going to head to Pim's Test Kitchen which is testing a bunch of new food and drinks. And Pim's Tasting Lab also has some new adult beverages. We might head over to San Francisco and see if we can meet Baymax and Karen Treats as a new pizza pie that we got to try. Why don't you come with us? On this adventure. We're heading to Pim's Test Kitchen. We're here early because they have some new breakfast options. We're gonna start first with the Cinna Pim's Toast 2.0. This is French toast, smoked bacon, and blueberry flavored popping spears. It's funny when you get this, the the blueberry boba and the syrup are off in their own like little shot glass, and you gotta pour it over your Cinna Pim toast, which by the way is huge. Here's my hand for context. It's, it's a pretty big slice of French toast. And you also get some, some slices of bacon there. And you got that little fork, which is a nice touch. I will say that they used to have the Cinna Pim toast when Pim's Test Kitchen first opened. And it used to have like these loose streaks through the French toast. It looked a little bit better, but did, I, I don't think it had the, the boba. So it's a little bit different. Let's try it out. This is so sweet. It's a sweet way to start off your day. Whoever thought of putting the blueberry popping pearls on top is a madman. And that madman name is Hank Pym. And I am appreciative to it. I do miss the blue streaks, but I think this might be a better dish. There aren't a whole lot of good quick serve breakfast options at Disneyland and DCA, but this is one of them. So I, I'm gonna, this is probably the one of the best. So I'll give it a five out of five, Peter. The bacon is just standard bacon but this French toast is thick and it's just so much. This can actually feed like two people. This is actually pretty incredible because of those popping pearls. This tastes like a blueberry French toast. I like this a lot. I agree with you. I give it a five out of five. You don't look like recruits. I've got this. Intruders, supper style. Ask a second time. <laughs> you can tell that we've watched the show a lot. <laughs> we also got the Witch of Westview's cold brew. This is butterscotch cold brew, marshmallow milk, chocolate foam, a toasted marshmallow, and streusel crumbs. So it's good to see that the cold brew wars have continued. I love that there's constantly like a new cold brew on the menu every few months. I am sad that my cookies and cream cold brew has gone, but this one sounds amazing. And one of my favorite Marvel TV shows was WandaVision, and Westview is actually the town from that. And which of Westview? So I'm guessing it's for Agatha. It's purple. Does she have? She has purple magic, right? Yeah, she has purple magic. Yeah, so there's purple down on the very bottom, which is kind of cool. I mean, I love Agatha, so you gotta think that she has like good taste in cold brew coffee. If I drink this, will I get magic powers like her? Yes. <laughs> like candy. This doesn't taste like coffee. This tastes like I'm drinking like a liquid caramel candy. Butterscotch is the dominant flavor. This is very, very sweet. This might be, I know I say this every time, but I feel like this could be the best one yet. I feel like this really could be the best one yet, but you gotta like sweet coffees. Wow. I'm so impressed by this. I love that Disney does this. This is so fun. I can't wait to see what the next one is. Five out of five. I think this could be an ordinary adventure store. I usually don't like coffee, but this cold brew tastes so good. Must be the dark magic, but. <laughs> is that why? That's totally why. So when Avengers Campus first opened, we were not given access to Avengers HQ. But in mid-September 2023, we finally were granted access to the Avengers Vault. So let's go in and check it out. Avengers, assemble! 
So when you first walk in, they have a giant Iron Man suit that you could actually purchase for $9,000. I feel like that's a good way to enter a store. It's very inviting. You can see him from like outside. He's like, come inside. Yeah, I don't Look think you get a Magic merch. Key discount on that one. Yeah, and I'm excited because like the stores here before, there was just a Spider-Man store and then like a store that sold Avengers Campus merch. So this has a bigger variety. Well, I guess there's also the Guardians of Galaxy store. Now there's four stores in Avengers Campus. Yeah. So that's okay. More merch, the better. It seems the store is separated by character. Right now we're in the Spider-Man section. And there's a lot of merchandise here that isn't over in web suppliers. And the thing that caught my eye at first is the Black Series Spider-Man helmet. They actually have a bunch of Black Series stuff. So in the Iron Man section, they have the Iron Man helmet, which I think opens and lights up and stuff like that. That's kind of cool. But I think the main attraction of the vault is they have their own line of collectible prop replicas they each interchange. We'll show you those in a second, but Kitra just found something. I found this shirt that I've never seen before for Iron Man, and spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Avengers Endgame, it says Invincible, but RIP to So we haven't made it very far in the store, but it kind of reminds me of like, you know in Islands of Adventure at Universal Studios Florida? Like, it's more, it's more like generic merch. It's not a lot of like, park exclusive merch it's just like a broad range of generic marble merch which i kind of like so they have closed down the superstore over in hollywood land and this is a smaller space but it's much larger than you think i like the the lights on the ceiling the hexagonal lights reminds me of kind of like ant-man on the wall over here they have some prop replicas they have thor's hammer from love and thunder they have stormbreaker both of those are hasbro black series that you could buy outside of the park but what's interesting is the TVA time stick. This is exclusive to the parks, and this is part of that whole prop replica collection. If you remember Loki, this is what they used to like zap people through time. So that's pretty cool. You can basically get your own lightsaber in Avengers Campus. So we ran into an ordinary adventurer, and she is the coolest ever because she has we have Ant-Man's book from Quantumania. And why did you why did you bring that here? So Scott can sign it himself. <laughs> that is amazing. She didn't actually get it here. She said she got it on Amazon, but they should start selling it here because that is hilarious. And yeah. it's an actual book, which and is so funny. It has funny. the words and everything in it. Wow, now I'm like so intrigued. I want to read it. So the real reason I think they built the store is they saw how much money they were doing over at Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities in Galaxy's Edge. They're like, we need a collectible store in Avengers Campus. So they have brought a whole new line of park-exclusive Avengers prop replicas, including all the stuff that has the Infinity Stones. So they have the Eye of Agamotto, that's the necklace worn by Doctor Strange, it comes with a play holder, and it can go around your neck, and it glows. They have the Tesseract, which, of course, you remember from Captain America. They have Loki's Scepter, which also glows. From Infinity War, they have the Infinity Gauntlet, from Endgame, they have the Iron Gauntlet, and that comes with all of the Infinity Stones from Guardians of the Galaxy. They got the orb, and it has like this nice display, and glows purple. It looks really cool. And of course, from Thor, the Dark World, everybody's favorite MCU movie, they have the ether. Now, the cool thing about these is the Infinity Stones are kind of like Kyber Crystals, and they're interchangeable. So I could take the Time Stone out of the Eye of Agamotto and put it into the ether, and the ether would turn green. Or you could take the stone out of the ether and put it into the Tesseract, and the Tesseract would glow red. So it kind of has like that, like almost like Kyber Crystal functionality. If you get yourself an artifact and want to change out the Infinity Stone, you could buy yourself a briefcase, and it comes with all the Infinity Stones except for the Soul Stone. So if you want the Soul Stone, you need to buy one of the gauntlets, or so you could buy one of the gauntlets for $99.99, or you could throw your loved one off a cliff, and then you get it for free. That seems like the better option, right? I mean, you save yourself $99 plus tax. <laughs> I love the packaging. It makes it feel really like in the universe. It's kind of like the packaging over in Galaxy's Edge. It could have just been like a boring box, but they made it interesting. But you have the little notch right here yeah. that you do lift. But it's kind of like a, got to hold and then pull open. We have our Infinity Stone right inside. And then let's go ahead and go pops right into its place. We close it right back up and then down at the bottom right here we have our little 
You know, I love how you guys made it so accessible to get the Infinity Stones. I don't have to like go on any, like, I don't have to kill anyone. I don't gotta search for it. You just come to this gift shop and they got them all here. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. These are not actual, they are replicas of them. Oh, they're just replicas? Oh, yes. okay. okay. They that's are replicas, why, that's why. We can't give you that much power. I, that's true. You know? <laughs> just one snap. It's actually kind of hard, hard to... Wait, what happens if I do both at once? Does that, like, counteract it? Oh, no, yeah, probably. I do it perfectly at the same time. It's actually very hard to snap with those on. Yeah, there's little finger holes, so you could... I don't know why this is, like, so fun. I like that you can put one for each hand, though. Yeah, so you gotta get both. Probably the coolest thing that they have here is Tony Stark's arc reactor, and they have it in the box as proof that Tony Stark has a heart, so you can have it on display just like Tony did. And what's cool is you can actually take it out of the box and it magnetically clips onto your your chest, so you can wear it. You could be Iron Man. Unfortunately, it sold that. This is like one of the most popular items here, and they, they only opened this place a few days ago. Another one of the exclusive items you can actually buy Shuri's Gauntlet. So overall, I think the new Avengers Vault store is fine. It, I like that there's now a place to get merchandise for all the Avengers in Avengers Campus. So it serves that purpose well, and I like the prop replicas. I wish they were of a higher quality, kind of like the Doc Ondor stuff. They yeah. feel a little plasticky and toy-like, but that said, I'll probably buy a couple. Actually, she already bought me one from, <laughs> from Florida. I did, I bought you the orb, you love it. We have it displayed on our house, yeah. in our house, on our house. <laughs> I wonder if over time, it'll be more park-exclusive merchandise. Like, maybe they, weren't expecting to have these stores and they now need to make that merchandise and they're just filling it with what they have. Yeah, it'll but, be interesting to watch yeah. over time and see how it evolves. Yeah. But right now, we're gonna head back over to Pim's Test Kitchen because they have a bunch of new lunch items. We gotta try those. Time for, for lunch. For science. <laughs> and what I'm gonna try first is the new atomic pretzel with pulled pork. And this has barbecue pulled pork, slaw, honey mustard, green onions, black sesame seeds, pickles, and cornichons. I think those are those little pickles on there. So this is kind of like the, the cold brews. Every few months they switch it out with a new atomic pretzel. I think last time it was, was that steak pretzel, right? It was like so good. They're usually pretty delicious. So this one looks promising. This is absolutely delicious. It's very wet though because they put so much sauce on it and the coleslaw and everything. I will say for $15.50, could be more pulled pork, but the flavors are there. I'm not sure this is my favorite pretzel that they've ever done. I think that one we got last time was better, but this is a good option here. And Remember I'm a, that elote one? Oh, that elote one? That was like the best one they've ever done. This one, below that. But I'd still probably give it like a four out of five. It's tasty. And I got the bigger than buffalo wings. This is buffalo turkey wing with spicy ranch, potato bites, carrot and celery slaw garnished with a buffalo chicken wing and blue cheese. My favorite part about Pim's Test Kitchen is how they play with the big and the small. And here you have a small chicken wing right next to a, basically a turkey leg. Smaller than Dis for Disney standards, but making it look like it's a gigantic buffalo chicken leg. So I like that, but if you don't like eating meat off the bone, this might be a little gross for Yeah, you. it looks gross to me, to be honest, but it'll probably taste good. The turkey is a little dry, but that buffalo sauce <laughs> makes up for it. I think this is fun. If I wanted a turkey leg, though, I'd probably get one of like the huge turkey legs. And I, I know sometimes you can actually get the turkey leg with buffalo sauce. I think over in Disneyland, one of the booths has buffalo sauce. So I think that's a better value. But I do think this is fun. The buffalo chicken wing is fire. And I think my favorite part is these potato barrels soaked up in that buffalo sauce. So good. Four out of five, Peters. This isn't bad, but it is also isn't the best thing that they have here. By the way, my favorite item of all time, the Pim's Test Kitchen, which was the PB cubed or something like that. It was a peanut butter and jelly with banana and bacon. It was amazing. They got it off the menu, it's gone. They still have the kids version, but the adult version is sadly R.I.P. <laughs> Just like Iron Man. So next up, we're heading next door to Pim's Tasting Lab, and we're gonna try out some new drinks. I'm trying out the 
Mucho Aloha Blueberry Hard Lemonade. This is 8% alcohol. Whoa. And I usually don't do beer, but this is a hard lemonade. And it's blueberry, so let's let's try it. Ooh, that's nice. Almost tastes like a cider, like a hard cider. Definitely get like a combination of that blueberry and lemon. It's sweet, but not like too sweet. If you want to get some alcohol and you don't want to get like, like a really sweet cocktail, this might be the one for you, especially if you don't want beer. I'd they finally this... have a drink for you here. Yeah, I think I'd give this like, I think I'd give it a five out of five Peters. Oh, wow. This is a solid choice. And I can walk around and look like I'm drinking beer and then people <laughs> people won't judge me for not drinking beer. Wow, you look so manly. <laughs> I don't drink fruity cocktails. Okay, I, me... I, I'm a man that drinks beer. Let me try it. So good, Ordinary Adventure Star. This is gonna be like both of our new go-tos here. We'll both look like we're drinking beer. Yeah, but I look cooler because it matches my, <laughs> That's my true. wand. Yeah, this matches your whole outfit. I gotta step my game up, apparently. <laughs> and they also have a new version of the Particle Fizz here. This is a drink that has been here since the opening of this land, but periodically they'll change the seltzers that are inside. This has Ashland Hard Seltzer, which is cherry lime and blue raspberry with fruit flavored boba. My big problem with this drink is it looks very aesthetically pleasing. It's basically just a seltzer with some boba. You can get a straw, but the straw isn't big enough to suck up the boba. You have to wait until you're done drinking it, and then like, I don't know. Did you get us some boba straws? I wish straws. they would just order some boba straws like on Amazon. I'm a seltzer girl. I'm a seltzer aficionado, some might say. So I love seltzers. You notice on every live stream I'm drinking like a hard seltzer. But for some reason, whenever I order this drink here, it's always a little bit flat. It just tastes like I'm drinking like a flat soda water. This isn't my favorite seltzer that you can get at Disneyland. If you go over to Oga's, they have a really good one. It's probably just like a two out of five. Not, not the best, but I mean, it is cute and you do get to keep the cup, so. We're also here with our friend Kidder and he's gonna try the next one. So I am the beer connoisseur and I decided to get the Modern Times Beer Sour Tropical Fruit, uh, I think it's pronounced Goss, G-O-S-E. We're gonna try this. Sour, there's some fruit in it, it's a beer. I don't know, I'm a little skeptical, but I'm hoping it tastes really refreshing. It's not bad. I mean, I'm an IPA beer guy, so that's like my go-to beer. It's It's got a hint of fruit. It's, it definitely is sour. It's actually actually not that bad. I'd give it a four out of five. Um, yeah. Wow. Would you like to try it? Sure. Are you a, yeah. are you a, a sour beer lover? Yeah. Or I don't know, maybe. Hopefully. Whoa. <laughs> That'll give you the bitter beer face, but I kind of like it. It's yeah, it like grows on you. It's not at all what I was expecting. I want you to try it. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally got to go in the Avengers HQ building, but not to do the e-ticket attraction that was promised us. Yeah, but they did announce some new details of what's eventually going to be going there. Yeah, they showed some concept art at Destination D23, and it shows a vehicle that has three rows, four seats each. It looks suspiciously like the vehicle for Peter Pan coming to Tokyo Disney. I'm hoping, I'm expecting this to be kind of like a Spider-Man ride at Islands of Adventure. Oh my god, where if it's it was like, like that, I'd be so happy because that is one of my favorite rides of all time. Yeah, like Transformers, where it's a combination of like practical sets and also screens. And what I hope happens is the innovation here is that they can change things out. Because you're supposed to be going into the multiverse to where King Thanos has won. Yeah, Thanos has won. So that would be really cool if they could switch it up or do like overlays when yeah. it's like Halloween, kind of like they do with the Mission Breakout. But imagine if it was like Star Tours, like every time you go on it, you don't know which hero is going to be helping. Oh. This time you get Spider-Man, this time you get Captain Marvel, this time... So like, if Thanos won, do you think in this ride we defeat him? Or I think so. Does he still you have win? To. Does he still win at the end of the ride? All right, let's take a little break from Avengers Campus and head over to San Francisco Square. We haven't actually seen it completed, and I want to meet Baymax, or at least see Baymax. And technically, 
Big Hero 6 is a Marvel property, so it, it fits in with the theme of the video. Subscribe to Ordinary Adventures. Yeah! <laughs> Awesome. So this is our first time in San Francisco during the day after it's been completed. And I gotta say, it looks a lot better than I could have ever expected. Yeah, and I love like the music they're playing in here. They're playing some like Japanese pop music. It sounds like it just gives this area like a whole new life that it was kind of lacking before. So many bright colors, so many like things to look at. Every single wall has some kind of graffiti or a banner. It's almost like too much at times. My favorite is the turbine above Rita's. You can actually see the wires coming from it, powering this whole entire square. But, but I think the thing we're most excited for is we want to see Baymax. So we're waiting in line. Hopefully we make it to the front in time. One eternity later. Well, you know what? We waited 30 minutes for Baymax. I just want to let you guys know it is a very slow moving line and we were towards the back so unfortunately we didn't make it all the way to yeah. the front so just keep that in mind. Baymax talks to everybody, he has interactions, yeah. he does the full la, la, la. Yeah, we'll be back another time to meet him. It was just cool to see him from a distance. And then once Baymax leaves and Hero comes out, but we decided to yeah. leave the line. I, I don't want to meet Hero. I like Hero, but it's like, come on, I was I here meet for Baymax. Baymax. He is so like squishy and cute yeah. in person. Like, it By is, the way, when he was leaving, he could like barely fit through. They, I'm, I'm not sure if that's like comedic design, oh, really? or if like they did not design it well because he's like kind of like sideways squishing Listen, through. He's a bigger guy, he, you know. Yeah. He made it work. But you know what? We're here, so let's check out the gift shop for a second. Yeah. I love this little Baymax stuffed animal. There was actually somebody who like went up and met Baymax and like had one of these and showed him, and he was like. It was so cute. Oh my gosh, it was so cute. I just love Baymax stuff. You know what I wish though? I wish that Mochi the cat was like a meet and greet here. In so Japan, it, they have like a little animatronic. Yeah, they have an animatronic and he's honestly my favorite character from that movie. So Disney, bring Mochi here. Yeah. There will be like an hour long line. I will be waiting. So a lot of this merchandise doesn't look like stuff that was supposed to be here. It's just like generic. Oh, oh look. my God, that hat is so cute. You have some San Francisco branded merch, but it's not San Francisco Square. So I feel like none of this was actually made for this new land. But I mean, it doesn't mean it's not cute. I like this little succulent holder with Baymax's head. When you put hot coffee or hot tea or whatever in there, it, it's like heat reactive. And you get the little faces. That's fun. They have a munchling that looks like it's from last year because it's Christmas themed. And it's Baymax, but as a dessert of some kind. I don't, this is cranberries on his head. Hugs all day, every day. So they have the Apple Watch bands. And one thing I love about this is like, he's kind of trying to squeeze through, kind of like how he was trying to squeeze when he was like leaving the meet and greet. A little pro tip, if you go into this little merchandise store, there's actually a hidden Baymax. You gotta look up. It took us a while, I'm not gonna lie, because I was like thinking something more abstract. But once you find it, they give you a little sticker. And I put mine on top of Grogu's face. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. Like, I, I just love when Disney does stuff like that. So over at Aunt Cass Cafe, they still sell Udin sourdough, and they now make Baymax out of sourdough. I think they still make Mickey, get Vampire Mickey, but Baymax is super cute. Yeah, so if you don't meet him in the meet and greet, you just come over here and eat him in the sourdough form. There's also this really cool mural over here, right by like the child services area. So once again, if you can't meet Baymax, you can just come over here and get an awesome photo. <laughs> Baymax is a cool meet and greet character. In Avengers Campus, they always have new characters from the Disney Plus TV shows and movies. Which got me thinking, Loki is coming out, season two, but they've already done like most of the Loki variants. So who could they do for Loki season two? And it hit me. What if they did Miss Minutes as like a costume mascot character, kind of like, <laughs> like Mickey Mouse? I would absolutely love that. I would wait five hours to meet her. And then the other thing that Marvel has coming out is they have the movie, The Marvels, but they've already had Captain Marvel They've already had Miss Marvel. Maybe they could have Photon. Kitcher wants Goose. I want another cat. Goose the cat.
excellent you're here. We don't have much time, so pay close attention. This is the astral ring. It has more power than you can imagine, and Dormammu will do anything to get it. But now we must alter the ring's molecular structure and transform it so Dormammu can't recognize it. Bring me Balaam's box of transformation. This will allow me to manipulate the fabric of the ring's reality. By the power of Balaam, Hunk, Amulum, Transformal! Yeah, I'm not that impressed either. No. She says she wishes for you to help us identify the hero we need to help us locate the spectral staff. She wishes to see you more closely. Oh, okay, that's close enough. You're freaking him out. So the Avenger we seek, Captain Marvel. Ah, uh, yes, it's Captain Marvel. Well done. Give her a hand. All right, so there's been the spectral staff which is Captain Marvel on Morag. Come, my all seeing friend. You have fulfilled your noble purpose. Now, go back to sleep. Well, no, 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 no. So go back to sleep. By the power of the Vishanti, bring me Captain Marvel from the planet Morag. That's not all we need. We need the spectral staff. I'm pretty sure you got it handled. And if you need anything else, uh, they have my number. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you really have her number? Yeah. No, she always does this. <laughs> shield we must all harness our energies like this everyone join me and now repeat this spell after me by the power of the Vishanti, by the power of the Vishanti. we create this spectral shield, we create the spectral shield. all right hands up put that spell together and say it with me nice and loud by the power of the Vishanti, we create this spectral shield. We're ready. By the power of the Vishanti, we create this spectral shield. Keep going. By the power of the Vishanti, we create this spectral shield. Again. By the power of the Vishanti, we create this spectral shield. To protect this campus, ourselves, and the astral those of you who didn't do the spell, you're not super useful. There is much work to be done, and so little time. May the all-seeing eye of Agamotto guide you safely. Farewell, my friends. For now. Well, right now we're going to head to Terran Treats. There is a new like a pizza pie thing. Yes, I'm so excited. And what this is, is the Type 526 Chocolate Cherry Pie. This is a chocolate coated pizza crust, cherry pie filling, and slivered almonds with chocolate cherry sauce. You guys might remember when we tried this like a pizza pie thing a few months ago, it got the Ordinary Adventures Galaxy. It was mind-blowingly good. And I was a little sad that they got rid of it, but they have a new one and it has cherry pie filling, which is my absolute favorite type of dessert. My grandma used to make me cherry pies when I was younger, so this has, you know, my ex expectations are pretty high on this. It looks absolutely delicious. When Kitra saw it, she was like, well, this was made for yeah, me. this was made for me, so I have very high hopes. I will say I'm not really a fan of like the cherry chocolate sauce on there. I kind of wish it was just straight like cherry pie cherries on there and like sugar and like a cherry pie crust maybe i'm just like envisioning a cherry pie the cherries are a little bit tart but i like it and i'm probably giving it like a four out of five don't order this zero out of five oh, give it back. i will say it's not what i was expecting i was expecting like maraschino cherries and it's definitely not that so just go in not you know 
expecting that. I also but tried don't, it. It's not. You would give it a zero too. I I didn't really like it that much. It's an acquired taste. Just remember the pickle milkshake review from a couple videos. Ago. Yes, you Just gave saying. that a good review. Amazing. Okay, do you want to? I need to. Yeah. yeah, there you go. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Kent, Cynthia, and Kendall. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Goodbye. Avengers, what's up? Disassemble. Disassemble. Goodbye. <laughs>